Today I'm alongside ASU outside hitter Aman Asanovich, who last year was named the All Pac-12 team and continues to break records here at ASU. Aman, thank you so much for taking the time and sitting down with me today. Thank you for having me. It is your fourth year as a Sun Devil. You're finally a senior. How does it feel? Honestly, it feels surreal. Like every time when I come back from having the summer break and from just like being away home and just like resting every time when I come back and I like greet the new class, I feel like I'm that like like I'm the part of the new class too. So like although like my title says oh. Iman Isano, it's senior, like I still feel like a freshman. And during your four years, you've had head coach Sonia Tomasevich here with you. So how do you think she has helped you grow and develop, not only as a player, but a person as well? Oh, I think she is like a very crucial part to my development, both personal, academic, and also like obviously on the volleyball court. Um, also, she is something, you know, like a piece of home away from home too, because, you know, going away so far away that Bosnia is from the United States and having, you know, even though she's not Bosnian, she's close enough, she's from Serbia and like, um, so we kind of share the same language and like some, uh, also similar cultural things and stuff. So it's, it was like, we clicked right away as I came here and I think she made my transition a lot better. I know how close you guys are, so how does it feel to be able to play with your sisters every single day? Oh my god, it, it's actually the spring season that we, or the spring off season that we had was my first off season and I was like a junior slash senior, you know, like going into that season and I think that was an opportunity that would have helped us so much more like in the past because because of COVID we were really lack, uh, we were lacking that department of, you know, like developing our relationships and being able to bond and because of all the restrictions that we had. Um, but in the spring season, we de definitely developed that team culture that we wanted to and that like a crucial part of our team culture is the bond that we have within a team because I truly believe that when we are sticking together as a team and when we are working like, in un like one unit, then we can truly like play against any team. And a few weeks ago in your reverse sweep win over Dayton, you hit that career mark, a thousand career kills, which is unbelievable. So how did it feel to hit that milestone? Like I was like, oh my God, it would be so fun to get like a thousand on my birthday. And then it ended up being like just a little bit short, like just a few points short. And then like coming into the Dayton game, I knew that it was like gonna happen, but honestly, the way how we started the game, which wasn't like the best, I was just like trying to focus on the game. And only by the end of the game, I was like, Holy smokes, you know, it's happened. And when you do finally say goodbye to the game of volleyball, what's next? What do you want to accomplish? Well, I definitely am looking forward to continuing my volleyball career after I finish my college career. I think that volleyball has brought me to places that I never could have imagined. Like if you asked, I don't know, a middle school or like high school, like freshman or sophomore year, Iman, that, uh, in a few years, she was going to be like in um, Arizona. Like I would be like, where, where is Arizona? And it brought me to a lot of places that uh, helped me grow and fulfill my potential. So I am looking forward to how um, what I'm going to do with all the prep that I had um, at ASU. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I wish you and your teammates the best of luck this thank season. Thank you so much.